Hello dear friends, this is your personal English coach Professor DC and in this video we will be understanding Act 2, Scene 2 of the play The Tempest written by William Shakespeare. If in case you have not watched and understood my earlier videos, I insist you do so that you have more clarity on this scene. Alright, let's get started. As you know, every scene has a location and has a set of characters. So where is this scene unfolding? This scene is also unfolding on the same island on which Prospero and Miranda lived in exile for 12 long years. And as we had seen in the earlier scene, this is happening on the same island where some of the highly reputed people like the king and the duke and the lords also were washed up because of the tempest or we can say a violent windy storm raised by Prospero's magic. The island is a big one and people are scattered across the island. Prospero, Miranda and in fact Ferdinand are at one location. The lords and the king and the duke is at another location and this is happening on some other location. So this scene is unfolding on a different location as compared to the remaining scenes. So let's understand what's going on here. It starts with Caliban. Now I already told you who Caliban was in the earlier scene but to just recap Caliban is the son of the witch Sycorax and also a slave or we can say servant of Prospero. We had seen in the earlier scene that Prospero orders Caliban to bring some wood from the forest to use it as fuel. Now here we see Caliban has already collected some wood and he is carrying that burden of wood on his shoulder or probably on his head and going back to Prospero. At the same time there is a noise of thunder and lightning heard in the background. So Caliban, Caliban is speaking to himself. We had already seen the chemistry between Caliban and Prospero. It is a bitter one. Caliban hates Prospero big time. So here he is all alone abusing Prospero and making evil wishes on him. He says, may all the infections that the sun basically sucks up, may all the infections from bogs, fens, flats, which means from everywhere all across the island, may all the diseases and infections lay upon Prospero and and make him ill make him severely diseased then he realizes that although he is speaking to himself and there is no human being around there's no one to listen to him around he suddenly realizes that the island was full of spirits who actually work for Prospero so then he says to himself that although his spirits are able to hear me but I must curse because I hate Prospero a big time. But then he says that none of the spirit can harm Caliban unless Prospero orders them to. The spirits cannot frighten Caliban. They cannot pinch him. They cannot lead Caliban into the dark unless Prospero has ordered them to. And then he says for every little thing Prospero asks the spirit to chase Caliban to keep an eye on Caliban sometimes the spirits take the form of monkeys and apes who constantly trouble Caliban and then bite him sometimes they take the form of hedgehogs or we can say porcupine who lie on Caliban's bare foot and keep on pricking his feet and some other time they take the form of snakes who wrap around Caliban and keep on hissing with their tongue which is forked in shape and drives Caliban to madness. Now you can imagine a monster bringing back a burden of wood and abusing Prospero and his spirits at the same time. How Prospero's spirit torments Caliban every now and then to make him work. Now here we see Trinculo entering the scene. Now you may ask who is Trinculo? Trinculo is a joker or we can say jester of 
the king in ancient times the kings had these jokers to make everyone laugh so trinculo is a jester caliban looks at trinculo and thinks that he is some sort of spirit now he is not a spirit as you already know trinculo is a member of the team of king alonso then caliban continues speaking out he says see there is another spirit who is here to trouble me just because i have been bringing back the wood slowly and at my own pace this spirit is here to trouble me and to make me hurry up i'm just going to lie down and hide and this spirit will not see me at all and therefore i will be safe now trinculo who is a jester who is a victim of the storm has saved himself somehow from the dangerous tempest and is somehow on the island he is walking on the island and suddenly there is another storm on the way so here is what trinculo is speaking to himself he looks around and thinks there is neither a bush or a shrub which can protect me from this bad weather i can already hear the wind singing i can already hear the wind whistling then he says it looks like the cloud which is over there the black cloud is soon going to pour is soon going to rain metaphorically speaking he says would shed his liquor liquor is alcohol but metaphorically it means rain so he looks at a black cloud and thinks that this particular cloud is going to shower very soon then he thinks if there's going to be another violent storm like the one that happened before i have no idea where i should hide myself and then he looks at the cloud and thinks although this cloud has no choice but to shower it is helpless if it has to shower it will shower then his eyes are set on caliban who is a strange looking monster he looks at caliban lying on the ground in an awkward position and thinks what is this uh, lying over here is this a man is this a fish is it dead or alive I think it should be a fish because he smells like one and looks like a very old fish. A kind of not of the newest poor john. Now friends, poor john is a kind of a fish. This is a name, poor john. You can google it out. And then he thinks a strange fish this is. He thinks further that if he were in England and if he just took a photo of this strange looking fish then anybody would pay him in silver for purchasing just the photo of this fish it is that strange looking and then he talks about the place where he lived he says i come from a place where people can pay for anything that's looking freaky that's looking weird but they would never help a beggar the person who's in need but they will definitely shed out 10 cents to see a dead indian meaning to see someone who is freaky he further observes caliban and thinks out loud leg like a man and his fins like arms he says this monster has man like legs but his fins are like arms then he feels the monster and thinks out loud that he is still warm and then he keeps on pondering over the fact that who this strange looking creature will be he keeps on thinking and then tells this is not a fish but a native someone who already lived on this island and definitely is a victim of lightning lightning has struck this creature and therefore this is his condition and in the background there is thunder and lightning now the weather was getting worse and therefore trinculo thought that as there is no place for me to hide i can only hide under the garment that this monster is wearing i can creep under his garment and make myself comfortable save myself from this storm and then he talks philosophically by telling 
that it's only strange situations strange circumstances and miseries that introduces us to new people and therefore this is my situation i will stay here until the storm passes so there are two people already in the scene we cannot say people because one is a monster so one monster and one person in the scene caliban and trinculo there's another person getting involved in the scene and his name is stefano now you may ask who is stefano well stefano is the head servant or we can say chief servant of king alonso's kingdom or we can say butler of king alonso's rule his duty is to manage the remaining servants and order them what to do and what not to do so it looks like stefano is also one of the survivors of the violent windy tempest turns out that stefano is singing why because he is drunk there's a bottle in his hand and what is he singing he says and sings that he will never go to sea again and he's gonna die ashore and after having sung these two lines he comments on his own tune he says this tune is curvy this tune is horrible this tune can be sung when a man has died in his funeral and then he looks at his bottle and thinks that this is something that really makes me comfortable and then drinks some more alcohol and continues singing now friends you must have observed people who are drunk people who are drunk they sing and they speak nonsense so this is what stefano's condition is at the moment he thinks about some of the ladies that he and his friends admired he thinks about the master the person who washed the deck the boatswain and he himself in his song he mentions that these people the gunman and his friend all of them they really loved and liked ladies who go by the name of Maul, Mag, Marion and Marjorie but they really disliked the girl called Kate because she never spoke well she had a tongue with a tang which means she spoke evil words and she would always uh, shout at the sailors and tell the sailors to go hang to go to hell and therefore they hated her a big time and she did even like the smell of the ship which was like tar and despite of his very evil nature and evil words she would be ready to go to bed with any tailor and then in his loneliness in his solitude he is addressing all the boys all the sailors to let this lady called Kate go to hell let her hang herself this is what he is singing because he is drunk and he is not in his consciousness again he comments on his tone and says this is a very horrible tune this is a scurvy tune and this is my comfort this is what makes me comfortable what makes him comfortable his drink he takes one more sip from the bottle Caliban is somewhere near Stefano as well while Stefano is singing Caliban is thinking something else Caliban is thinking that there are some spirits who Prospero has ordered to trouble me there are some spirits near me so that they can harass me for bringing back the wood slowly so Caliban he is in uh, a little pain because he thinks the spirits will trouble him so he says please don't trouble me oh Stefano looks at the monster and thinks what's the matter do we also have devils on this island Stefano addresses Caliban by telling him that are you playing some sort of tricks on me by showing your unethical and uncivilized behavior then he thinks I did escape drowning I didn't save myself to be afraid of you now I'm not here to be afraid of your four legs I didn't save myself for this and I cannot run away and be scared of a person who is walking on four legs and whatever I said I will speak again while I'm alive now you see he is again speaking nonsense although he has noticed Caliban and his form we know that Caliban is a monster and he is having a weird form so Caliban responds 
This spirit is troubling me. Oh, Stefano addresses him again. In fact, he thinks out loud. He said this is some kind of a monster on this island with four legs and who is in some kind of ache. Ache is pain. Who is in some kind of pain? And then he thinks, where the hell did he learn my language? I can definitely help him out if he is in pain. What I'm gonna do is recover him from his pain and take him back to Naples. And Stefano thinks that he is very sure that any emperor would accept him as a gift. Now, as you already know, Caliban thinks that these are some kind of spirits. So Caliban tells Stefano, please don't trouble me, I beg. I will definitely take the wood home faster. Please leave me alone. Stefano says, it looks like this monster is having some sort of seizures. We call it fits. He is having some sort of seizures. And he shall taste of my bottle, which means I will give him some of my drink. And after having drunk my wine, he will be all right. If I am successful in recovering him and if I tame him well, then I'm very sure that any person would pay a lot of money to buy this creature. I'm not going to charge too much. Any person would pay for this creature everything that he had and that too with all his heart. Caliban responds. He says, you have not hurt me yet, but I know that you will definitely hurt me very soon. I can already figure out from your trembling. And I know that Prospero is working upon you. Prospero has sent you here. I know that you will hurt me. Stefano responds. Now what a hilarious condition, friends. Stefano thinks that this Caliban, this monster is having some sort of disease. And Caliban thinks that Stefano is a spirit who is here to harass Caliban. Stefano is thinking that he would sell off Caliban if he recovers him and he is making all attempts to save Caliban and Caliban is absolutely confused. Caliban is unable to understand why this person is behaving like this. So Stefano insists Caliban to open his mouth. He says, come on, open your mouth. This drink that I'm offering you will help you talk. Open your mouth. This will remove all your tremors. This will stop you from shaking. I can assure you that this drink is wonderful. And then Stefano tells Caliban that you don't even know who your friends are. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Now Trinculo, as we know, is their self. Trinculo, because of the storm that's on the way, has hidden himself in the same garment as that of Caliban. He hears the conversation and thinks I should know that voice. I recognize this voice. It should be... Then Triculo starts guessing. Now he is a little bit sure that this should be Stefano. But then he thinks, but he is drowned. And these are devils. So Triculo concludes by hiding in Caliban's garment that there are some devils here. And then starts praying, God, please help me. There are some devils who have disguised themselves in different forms. Stefano continues. Now Stefano hears what Trinculo said. So he says, you have four legs and you have two kinds of voices. You are the most unique monster I have seen. You've got one voice which is good and which is positive and talking about friends. But the other voice is harsh and abusive. The other voice is backward and the other voice has a speech that is foul. Again, Stefano thinks that if Caliban drinks his drink, then he will get cured. The two voices will become one and speak good. So then he again insists Caliban to drink. Come on Caliban, open your mouth. Amen. Once you open your mouth, I will put this drink into your mouth. Drink you low is now very sure that the person speaking is Stefano. He shouts out, Stefano! Stefano is just looking at Caliban and he is shocked. How on this earth did this monster knew his name? 
this is a devil not a monster i should leave him i should not stay here for a long time i'm not interested to deal with devils trinculo hears stefano and responds stefano now let me tell you friends that trinculo is still hiding under the garment so from inside the garment he tells stefano if you are actually stefano then touch me and talk to me i am trinculo you know me already i am your good friend trinculo stefano responds if you really are trinculo then come forward and then he says i'm gonna pull these smaller legs that i see if you say that you are trinculo then i think these would be your legs so let me pull these legs now stefano pulls the small looking legs and he is amazed to find out that it was really trinculo so he says you are really trinculo indeed and then he asks how is it possible that you ended up with this foolish person now moon calf is a foolish person he says how is it possible that you ended up in this monster's dung this monster's excreta did the monster excrete you trinculos trinculo responds and tells the background story trinculo says i thought he was already dead because of lightning but how is it possible that you have not drowned stefano i hope you are not drowned is the storm over already i hid myself under the dead foolish monster's garment for the fear of the storm now trinculo is a unable to believe that stefano is alive so he says i can't believe that you are leaving stefano really you're living yay two men from naples survived escaped the storm stefano responds now while trinculo was speaking to stefano out of excitement he was turning stefano round and round so stefano responds and requests please don't turn me around my stomach is really upset caliban thinks out loud alone he thinks these cannot be spirits this cannot be bad spirits these look like good things looks like this person who gave me a drink is a god i would like to kneel down in front of him stefano continues stefano tells trinculo how is it possible that you escaped how did you get here eventually please tell me the truth and swear on this bottle of wine that i'm holding i made this bottle out of a bark of a tree after i was washed ashore and then i made myself comfortable on a barrel of wine that was floating and came up to here and survived somehow and this barrel of wine was tossed by the sailors overboard caliban addresses stefano i swear by the bottle to be your true subject for the drink that you gave me is not from this earth now friends caliban after having drunk stefano's drink is feeling ecstatic and so good that caliban is trying to surrender to stefano so stefano responds not to him but to trinculo stefano tells trinculo and tells stefano to narrate the story of how he survived trinculo says i swam ashore man like a duck i can swim like a duck you know i swear i can swim like a duck stefano as we know he is drunk and he takes out bible from his uh, clothes and asks trinculo to swear on it and then passes a comment though you can swim like a duck but you look like a goose trinculo asks stefano oh stefano do you have any more drink stefano says there's a cave by the seaside and i've got a whole barrel man i've kept it hidden and then stefano addresses caliban caliban do you still feel pain hey now foolish monster do you still feel pain and as we know caliban is in a great mood caliban is delighted by the drink and caliban asks a question 
are you guys from heaven did somebody drop you from heaven Stefano being drunk responds and gives a nonsensical answer he says we are from the moon I assure you that we are from the moon I used to be a man on moon back then now Caliban is also drunk so he responds yeah yeah I've seen you on the moon I should pray you I should admire you once upon a time my wife showed me that you were there and your dog was also there and you had a bush around your house I know you are from moon Stefano asks Caliban to swear the Bible again he says come swear that kiss this book and then he tells Caliban that I'm gonna fill this bottle again and that too very soon so Caliban drinks again Triculo is watching this funny conversation and he thinks out loud he says that it's so silly that I was scared of this monster if you observe him carefully if you observe him in a good light he's a very shallow monster I was afraid of him he's such a weak monster and the conversation about a man on the moon what a poor and stupid monster that was a big gulp monster he addresses Caliban as Caliban took a big gulp of the drink Caliban responds to Stefano now friends we know that Caliban is sick of Prospero so he is looking out for a new master and after Stefano gave Caliban a drink Caliban wants Stefano to be his new master anyway so he makes offers he says I'll show you every inch of uh, the island which is fertile I will kiss your foot I pray please be my God Trinculo is observing Caliban and Stefano and hearing the speech and is really feeling hilarious he says that this monster is lying as he is drunk when his God falls asleep I'm very sure that this monster is gonna rob him from his bottle he's gonna take the bottle away as soon as Stefano is asleep is what Trinculo is thinking Caliban continues I'll kiss your foot I will kiss your feet I will be your faithful servant I will be your faithful subject Stefano agrees he says come on then kneel down and swear that you will be faithful Trinculo is unable to believe what he is seeing and he's laughing at the same time he says I will laugh myself to death at this stupid monster the most stupid monster I could find in my heart to beat him and is interrupted by Stefano come kiss my feet Trinculo talks to himself he continues and he was telling how he feels like beating the monster up but looking at the poor monsters condition because he was drunk he could not and then again he thinks about the monster and says an abominable monster abominable means terrible a terrible monster Caliban makes some more offers he says I'll show you where there is fresh water on this island and I'll pluck out berries for you I will do fishing for you and get enough wood for you and then Caliban thinks about Prospero and says what a worst master I have what a tyrant master I have I'm serving such a horrible person I'm not gonna follow him but I'm gonna follow you I'm not gonna get more and more wood for him I will serve you Trinculo is unable to believe how Caliban is ready to make Stefano his god so he says what a really ridiculous monster and how silly it is that he is making this drunkard as his god Caliban continues he tells Stefano by making some offers he says let me show you the place in this island where there are crabs which you can eat I have long nails and with the help of my long nails long fingernails I'm gonna dig the edible roots for you I will help you find Jay's nest now Jay is a bird I will help you find Jay's nest and I will also help you understand and learn how you can catch a nimble tropical American monkey marmoset 
Now nimble is quick and light. Caliban continues and says, I'm gonna bring you a lot of hazelnuts and sometimes I will also catch birds for you who are always sitting on the rocks. Are you ready, Stefano? Are you ready to come with me, my master? Stefano says, Yes, I'm ready. Show us the way without any further talking. Trinculo. Now Stefano tells Trinculo, Trinculo, you know everybody has died, so we will inherit this island. We are the true hires of this place. Here, carry my bottle. Trinculo, we're gonna fill this bottle very soon. Caliban is drunk and therefore he sings. He says, goodbye my master, goodbye. He's addressing Prospero. Caliban thinks that he's got a new master, which is, or who is, Stefano. So he is bidding farewell to Prospero. Trinculo at the same time is abusing Caliban, says a howling, shouting monster, a drunken monster. And Caliban sings. He says, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make more dams to catch fish for you or fetch firewood for you when you insist or order me to. I'm not gonna wash dishes or clean the plates when you ask me to. Ban, ban, Cali, ban has a new master. So Prospero, get a new servant. Freedom, freedom, what a wonderful day. I am free, freedom, freedom. Stefano says, good monster, show us the way. And then they exit. So friends, I hope you've understood this scene, very hilarious scene. Let me summarize it for you. From the earlier scenes, we had seen how Prospero wakes Caliban up and orders Caliban to come out of his jail which is a cave prospero after having a heated argument with caliban orders caliban to bring some wood from the forest which he does because caliban knows how powerful prospero's magic is so the scene starts with caliban himself bringing back the burden of wood and at the backdrop at the background the weather is bad so caliban is abusing prospero and how uh, his spirits torment him all the time to make the work done to get the work done and we have a person in the scene called Trinculo with the Joker Trinculo is aware about the bad weather and he looks around he has no place to hide makes himself safe so he hides himself in Caliban's garment also thinks about Caliban about his strange appearance and strange form Trinculo thinks that Caliban was dead because of the lightning. Now in the meantime, Stefano is involved in the scene. Stefano approaches these two. Stefano is already drunk. He has no consciousness. He sings nonsense and speaks nonsense. He approaches the place where these two lie. And then he comments on Caliban. Caliban hears Stefano. Caliban is thinking that Trinculo and Caliban are spirits who were there to trouble him because he was bringing the wood very slowly. He need to hurry up. So Caliban thinks that Stefano and Trinculo are the spirits, Prospero's spirits, who were there by his orders to trouble him. Now Stefano observes Caliban's and passes a lot of comments. Trinculo at the same time hears him and recognizes his voice. Stefano keeps on talking and Trinculo has finally concluded that it is in fact Stefano and uh, eventually they meet each other talk about how they survived. On the other side Stefano also thinks that Caliban is ill so offers some drink that he has. Caliban feels elated, ecstatic, delighted, happy, wonderful and he says your drink is not from this earth and Caliban is ready to make a new master so he makes some offers I'll show you this I'll show you that on this island I'll help you out on surviving on this island I'll do this I'll do that Stefano is already drunk and agrees Trinculo is unable to believe how all this is unfolding and keeps on laughing and keeps on abusing the monster and Caliban being in a drunken state 
bids farewell to Prospero and declares that he has a new master, Stefano, new god, Stefano. Trinculo is still unable to believe what's going on. And because Caliban had made offers, they leave the place. Now this is the end of Act 2, Scene 2. My next video will be Act 3 and the subsequent scenes. If you have doubts, you can make a comment under my video and I will definitely answer you. If you have some suggestions or clarifications or recommendations, please do let me know and I will include them in my upcoming videos. I thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.